Welcome Leo to your mid-September love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to use the price of love to pull a card for your the connection. Um, and then also we are going to use the AF Tarot deck to pull some energies and then do some tarot. Um, I do love using these cards. They're called the hidden truth messages from your person. I feel it gets more in depth in your person's true feelings. And then we have the messages of love oracles. And to bring more clarity into the reading, I do have this deck. It's called the Divine Love Oracle by Serendipity Tarot. And at the end of the reading, we are going to pull one card just for you um, to bring any messages that need to come through for you guys okay so that is just for leo so let's go ahead and get started with the reading and see what is coming in for you guys we'll start off with the price of love we have forgiveness a number 38 bottom of the deck is codependency number 31 and we have manipulation here and love okay Let's go ahead and bring in more energies. Whoa, we have the lovers in reverse. That just flew out. Okay, we have the six of cups energy. And the hangman in reverse. Oh, wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the three of wands in reverse. Oh, strong message here already now keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind we do have the five of wands on the bottom of the deck we have king of pentacles energy we have the four of swords the nine of cups the ace of wands seven of pentacles seven of swords ace of swords three of pentacles five of wands and the five of cups three of cups ace of pentacles and the knight of swords sorry about the noise that's a big message here for you guys all right, Leo, so obviously somebody wants your forgiveness here, but we do have some possible co codependency, maybe feeling ha handcuffed to somebody in the past, maybe feeling like you're still linked to an individual, but there could have been some manipulation within this love situation. Now, this could have happened in the past, present, or something you're coming out of, um, but we do have a lot of emotions in love as we have the lovers, some possible manipulation, betrayal, maybe some lies, but it looks like both of you guys could be feeling really connected, right? Um, I do feel like there is possibly a connection. I'm, I'm sorry, there's like a bunch of uh, things happening uh, or other messages coming through. Um, maybe some second chances. Maybe this is a relationship that goes, you know, ups and downs, uh, breakups and makeups here, but it looks like this plate has been damaged, right? And glued back together. Um, and you come together again and then you break up again and then there's manipulation. But there could be somebody wearing a false mask or not really revealing who they really are, but maybe saying that they care and love you, which I feel that they do. It just feels like this energy is a bit confusing here. Um, I feel like there was a lot of challenges with this five of wands energy, right? A lot of disagreements, not seeing eye to eye, you know, um, this is about arguments, uh, ups and downs in a relationship that could have left you feeling really sad and unfulfilled as we have the lovers in reverse. The lovers in reverse is separation, feeling disharmony, feeling a disconnection in this relationship, um, just, you know, feeling broken that something is not coming together and it could be a past energy here. Uh, he as you're in this hangman now the hangman is in reverse so there is some surrendering here but could be feeling a bit stagnant on no, not knowing which direction to go at this time um, we do have you standing pretty strong as the king of pentacles even though you're a fire sign you this is in your energy so if you guys could have earth in your chart or be coming up as this uh, what this card represents as in loyal financially stable um, this is someone who is very calm <laughs> down to earth uh, loving energy here right and then we do have this four of swords energy which is there's some separation again right um, 
we do have the nine of cups in the challenge so there's could be a challenge of feeling fulfilled is this as in like something that was once a wish fulfillment or wanting it to be a wish fulfillment in a way but there's just so much unfulfillment okay within the situation we do have the ace of wands in the mutual energy so there's definitely a connection in chemistry um as we see here so that could be like that that, that codependency card it doesn't necessarily mean you're codependent on the person it could be that something is bonding you together and i feel like that is the chemistry right the the, the mutual interest in certain things. Um, this could be a very hot and heavy relationship, but we do have the seven of pentacles here with the seven of swords. So I feel like this person could be reminiscing about the situation or looking back, right? Um, but their intention here uh, on coming towards you is the seven of swords. Um, I feel that this is very sneaky, dishonest energy that's not really speaking the truth here uh, about certain things um, as to why the challenge is here because you saw the dishonesty already. Maybe there's a lot of ups and downs again within the situation. It also could be from a third party situation with the three of cups, right? Um, somebody could be starting something else, um, but we do have that three of cups energy coming in. It doesn't have to be for all of you, uh, but it does look like a little bit of, you know, some betrayal is here with that seven of swords, but what you don't see coming is the ace of swords. So truth, truth is coming. Truth is being revealed. So I feel like it's up to you if you want to forgive this person as you're being handed these flowers, right? Or this romantic gesture or is what they're saying, even though they're coming in as a seven of swords, when communicating this truth, you're probably going to hear the truth, but not the whole truth, okay? That's what I'm feeling this. There's collaboration, there's listening back and forth as to why everything feels stagnant. Is this person being honest? Are their intentions good? Is this someone I see long-term potential with? Is this someone I want to be with forever? Or or is it the chemistry, right? So I feel like there's a lot of questions that's being asked with Leo right now as to, you know, you're the responsible one, you're the loyal one, you're the committed one here, right? You're doing everything you can, the best you can, but what is going on with your, this person? Okay, what is going on with this person? So I feel like, yes, there's a, a awakening coming in for you, Things are going to be, you're going to be seeing things a lot clearly. And I feel like you are going to be speaking your truth with this uh, honest communication because you're coming up from a very loyal place. This person I feel is coming from a dishonest place, but you will see right through that. Okay. Especially if this is a person coming in for another chance or someone that is hard to break away from. So let's see what they have to say to you. Okay. Let's get the hidden truth before I start talking too much. I don't, I know you don't feel the same. So they don't think you feel the same way as they do. I don't want to let you go and I do love you. So you could be hearing these things and I admire you. Yeah, because you're stable, right? You're taking life seriously. I'm sure you've made mistakes in the past. Yes, we all do. But you've learned from those mistakes, right? I feel like you're not wanting to hurt anyone here or lie or manipulate. I feel like that is the energy you're dealing with. But these I love yous and I don't want to let you go can keep you in stuck mode. But I feel a lot of you are in maybe cutting off this person. I mean, this is just a message that needed to come out for someone. So take what resonates with these messages. But I do feel like this person has, you know, possibly messed up more than once and now asking for forgiveness once again in a way. Okay. Let's get the messages of love oracle. See what else we have. Okay. So with this new love or recommitment in love, there is some obstacles. Okay, so there is unhealed wounds which are causing blockages to move forward. Okay, and this is a new love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. So this could be somebody coming back in, wanting to restore balance in the relationship, but you're going to be seeing where they're coming from. All right. Let's get one more for Leo. Ooh, denial. Detach with the love to clearly see the truth. I don't feel like you're in denial. I do feel that you are <laughs> seeing the truth. I don't feel like you guys are wanting to be in these challenges anymore and hear someone consistently saying, I'm going to change. Will you forgive me? I love you. I care about you. You know, ugh, that is very frustrating at times. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and grab the Divine Love Oracles and see what else we have over Leo. Choices. Consider all the options that are presented before making a judgment call. So there's definitely some choices here. Um, uh, deception. Trickery and dishonest tactics are being used, causing trust issues. That is that Seven of Swords. We have deception. We have choices. Okay. See, that is why that clarity is coming in. That truth is coming in here with this Ace of Swords. I would never give anybody false hope in my readings. <laughs> so I never want to, you know, steer you guys in a direction that to give you any type of false hope. Straightforwardness. Again, that's that communication. Someone is ready to take a direct approach and be clear in their communication. I mean, being clear and honest and straightforward. Yes, some people can say... <laughs> You know it's a bit blunt or however but if you're operating from your heart and you're sincerely wanting to know the truth yeah it's good to be straightforward when communicating okay um, we have spiritual work and obsession and unhealthy obsessive thoughts are taking up space in this connection we do have spiritual work uh, much work is to be done on an individual spiritual and soul level I'm feeling that's coming from that seven of swords energy and then we have mirroring. You are reflecting the hidden fears, thoughts, and emotions of your partner. Again, take what resonates with this reading. Now, let's go ahead. Maybe I should clear clear this up, huh? Let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab your card. Okay, Leo, let's see. What do we have? Integrity. Remember what you stand for, especially when no one is looking. Then we have strength of character. So I'm going to read both of these to you if you're still with me. I'll look at we got independence. Recognize your own potential. Now, if you're still with me, I am going to read straight from the book to get the message right to you. I feel like they bring a lot of uh, strong messages. Okay. We're going to start off with integrity. Do you know who you are at your core? Allow the true essence of your soul to shine through your physical exterior. Stand strong in your convictions, even when others may not support you. The choice that is right for you can only be, de be determined by you. I stand behind you, pushing you gently forward, urging you to acknowledge your truths. It is within you to shine a light upon shadows that are overlooked, to aid in the collective awakening, to be a pillar for our is it pillar for those who seek guidance and understanding stay true to yourself and your values wow very strong and then we have strength of character this life may pick you up throw you down and then send you soaring it will test you in ways you could have never dreamt and bring you everything you ever asked for and wanted what did you learn in the face of adversity when faced with the unspeakable situations you had never imagined would cross your path this is the truest testament to what your soul is capable of surviving, becoming, and evolving. I see that you work hard with extreme passion to then fail. I see you continue onward, struggling to achieve. I see that you still persist and, persist and do not lose faith as you fall behind and drown in the depths from the pressures of the waters that are submerging you. You ask me, why you must endure all these complications. And I will tell you that these experiences are what make your entire existence. Your experiences are what shape you. Your experiences are your stories. Your experience is your soul led journey. I ask that you do not shame these experiences, rather reflect upon them for the lesson is the achievement. Wow. Okay, Leo, I am going to leave it right there. I'm loving these cards that you got. Very strong, beautiful Leo I'm connecting with. Um, I'm going to leave it right here for you guys. If you do like this reading or if it helped in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.